Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tinfoil Tidbits, episode 22, A New Kind of Tinfoil. If you're wondering where episode 21 is, it's on my other channel, Tinfoil Politics. And I will be migrating all the Tinfoil Tidbit episodes over to that channel over the course of time. But in the meantime, this one is on this channel. And let's take a look. Anyway, the first thing I want to offer to you is the cue cards. I didn't make these, but I collected them. And I haven't seen anybody that's collected the entire collection, even though I haven't really got the entire collection. So these are the cue cards. It's kind of like the INWO series, but more, more current. <clears throat> these cards are awesome. They basically tell the story of the year 2018. And, you know, through cards and collectibles like this, I think it's a great way to get people up to speed that especially didn't start paying attention until the, the pandemic. So I feel like this collection here really tells the story of 2018 pretty good to give an idea of what was going on. And it's a lot of cards in this series and they're just really cool to look at. I, I really gained a lot from looking at the INWO cards. That's the Illuminati New World Order cards. And these cards are great. I have up to from cards one to 120 but I know they go higher because, but I just can't find them because I have this extended card here. It's card number 323. I don't know if it's referring to Q post 323. It says at what stage in the game do you play the trump card? So I don't know if I'm missing 181 to 322, but if you have them, uh, put those in the link because I'd love to complete the collection. <laughs> and then this one is number 719. Again, I could just look this up to see if this is Q post 719. I'm guessing that's what that number means. Or maybe they actually have 719 cards. And while we're on the topic, I just want to show that I found another card set. And they're based more on, it's not, yeah, Magic the Gathering kind of cards. It's in the same style, but it's, it's, it's not the same collection. But they're pretty cool as well. I haven't uploaded these yet. Now, the, the key with the Q cards is that I am, I'm going to put a link in the description for you to download them if you want them. And just in case you don't know what I mean when I say the INWO cards, it's Illuminati, the card game, this is the reprint edition. I actually kind of like these a little bit better than the original collection. I have the original collection as well. I, well, I don't have them physical anymore. I sold them, but I photographed. These are literally, I photographed every single card with my cell phone just because I don't like having physical possessions. Um, although I kind of wish I kept the card set. I just don't have anywhere to keep stuff. I only like to keep tools. I don't like to keep possessions, but, uh, I'm, I'll put a link to all of the entire collection of all the different sets of INWO in the link below. Cause there's a bunch of different sets. There's like INWO Illuminati Y2K. So anyway, let's get on to the rest of the show. Cause we've got to keep this under five. All right. And check this out. So this is my Microsoft service tablet and this thing is awesome, right? The, the display is great. But after I did a Windows update, my the USB port and the port that this plugs into stopped working. Now the keyboard itself lights up, right? So this lights up, but there's no input at all. And then this USB port with this, this light, the light lights up. But if I plug in like a USB mouse, it doesn't recognize it. So I don't know what the heck happened here, but luckily it's still, the touchscreen still works. So if you know how to, if you have a Surface Pro, this is a Surface Pro 4. If you know how to fix this thing, just let me know. I've tried a lot of different things. Uh, the UFE, blah, 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 but it, it's so weird. The ports still provide electricity. They just don't, I guess, provide drivers. So I've been using a Bluetooth mouse. All right, so let's bring you over to here. We have some ham radio equipment. <clears throat> this is a power supply, it's pretty cool. It's an Astron, it's an Astron power supply. And then there's a, uh, a, a Yisu, I guess this is the transceiver. It's got that and then uh, we put up an antenna in the back. And then I ordered this antenna here to use with this bow fang that I got. Um, this bow fang is pretty good and it, it's so low priced if you wanted to get into ham radio. This is probably the, the least expensive way to get into it with the least amount of equipment and the least amount of know-how needed. You still need this program called Chirp to uh, program the whole thing and you'll need this cable here in order to interface it with your computer. Um, and then 
this antenna will help. You'll need some converters. But if you're going to get into it, this is probably the quickest way to do it. If you have someone that can let you be their apprentice, you know, getting a bigger setup. And, and there's even crazier stuff. But get, make sure you get into ham. In November of 2018, I took the technician exam. That's, that's like the entry-level ham radio exam to get an FCC license to transmit on certain frequencies. So I'm just bringing it up, let you guys know about it. Ham is the way to go. What happens if the cell towers go out and the telephones go out? <clears throat> this is the way to utilize nature to communicate <clears throat> and meet good people. Additionally, I ordered this antenna book, but it's a four volume set. Can you believe this much? Uh, this is the ARRL antenna book, 24th edition for radio communications. So uh, all, all about antennas. Antennas seem to be pretty interesting. And I want to make sure that I'm doing it as safely as possible. And I want to understand the directionality of it all. If you're a long time subscriber of this channel, been following a long time, you know I get a lot of IT certifications. Uh, I have so many. I have A+, Network+, INET+, ITIL V3, MCP, MCSA, MCSE, CCENT, and then I re I, last year I got CCNA Wireless. So this year I'm attempting the Linux Essentials exam. So I'll be reading this. This is the LPI Linux Essentials Study Guide. I already read chapter four today. It took one hour to read. So I figured it's a 15 chapter book, 15 days, one hour a day. I'll have this whole thing read. Then I got to go through some practice exams. Um, but that's definitely one certification I'll be getting. Another one I'm going to try to find time to study for is Wireshark. I don't know if you've ever used Wireshark, but it's it's a, it's a great way to learn about networking and protocols and what's going through your cable and going through your Wi-Fi. It captures every packet. It's interesting stuff. It's, it's a sniffer, essentially. Also, I'm learning, in addition to learning ham, that antenna book and everything else with ham and electric. It's, it's really about electromagnetics and the invisible know-how. I want to know how the forces of nature work. And then the fourth course I've purchased was CEH that stands for Certified Ethical Hacker. Uh, I'm just going to view the course material and just see if I learn anything from it. I, it's not to hack, it's to, I'm doing more stuff with security so I want to make sure I know what the basics of what the hackers are thinking about. But, but this will be the big prize to bring home. Uh, I did take RHEL, that's the Red Hat Enterprise Linux, but I failed that miserably. I needed a, a more foundation. This is like the entry level Linux exam, whereas the RHEL exam was more like level four. So I'm starting at the beginning. It was an enjoyable chapter four. Also, today was a big day for the Q movement. Michael Flynn was all but exonerated today. Charges are being dropped. MSNBC is going wild. So huge deal. The hunters have now become the hunted. I think this is the first big domino to bring in the storm. I don't remember if I showed you the Rodecaster Pro that I got this yet, but this thing is amazing. So this is improving my audio, even though I'm not using my mic right now. Thanks for watching this episode. I showed you my goals with the Linux book. That's my goal for 2020, but my biggest goal, and I should shoot higher than this, but I really want to get my channel subscribers up to 100,000 subscribers. And YouTube's just not sending me any traffic anymore. So if you can, find a video you like on my channel, pass it on to a friend and say, hey man, go sub my boy. Because I'd like to grow my channel. It, it was growing, it was growing, and then psh, came to a halt when they, started, when they started blocking off people that go against their narrative. So, hey man, come on. If you love the content, help me grow. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. And make sure you subscribe over at Tinfoil Politics if you enjoy this Tinfoil Tidbit series. May the force be with you.